Saturday, September 30th, and today this could be a black day in the history of the United States. Of course, we are on the verge of a shutdown. The government will be shut down tonight at midnight if Congress can't figure out a way to avoid that. And Kevin McCarthy is caught with his pants down, and his underpants are down too. He doesn't have the vote to get a stopgap measure passed. And he hasn't figured out how to get the Democrats to work with him either. And his hardliners within the party are prepared to send him packing as the Speaker of the House. So the country is in dire straits this morning. And I don't know what's going to be the situation by the end of the day. But it just proves to me and to many other Americans that we have let this country down. We cannot blame the congressman 100%. We can blame our maybe friends, relatives, other citizens in this country who do not understand the importance of working together, the importance of compromise, the importance of ridding our nation with the specter of Donald Trump. And all it all comes back to Trump because the people who are doing the most evil deeds are his allies. And he has promoted the shutdown. And it's obvious that when a man promotes a shutdown in a country, he doesn't care about the citizens, those who can't afford not to work, those who have to work for maybe weeks or months without getting paid. How would you like that? How would you like to work for a couple of months and not be paid and drain your savings accounts and maybe your retirement accounts in order to stay afloat? Well, how about not working at all, right? Working and not getting paid is one thing. Not working at all is an entirely different situation. So that's what this country is faced with. And McCarthy has refused up to this point to say whether he'll try to cut a deal with the Democrats if his conservative hardliners bring down his stopgap measures, whatever they are. So this is a major challenge for him. And I'm not sure he's up to the challenge. I'm not sure he, why he took the job, why he agonized through 15 votes to become the Speaker of the House. He's a Speaker without any real power, because he has to kowtow to the membership, all of his membership, any one of whom can decide he should be fired. How about that? You're the leader of a group, and they can fire you at any time. That's not a way to be the boss, you know. That puts a crimp in your style. If you can't make decisions without having some underling dissatisfied and with the possibility and the ability to send you packing, is that a mess? Yes, it's a mess. And it all leads to this particular situation. Because while you're the leader, you are supposed to be able to direct the forces and compromise, arrange the appropriate compromise to survive. Being the leader doesn't mean that you order people, especially in a tenuous position that Kevin McCarthy is in. He can't order anybody to do anything. But he's got to have the skill set to lead. And obviously, he doesn't have it. He's hanging on by a thread. And I don't know why the Republicans picked a guy who can't lead. That just shows you what a mess they are in with their extreme right-wing viewers. People who are willing to to put the country in dire straits. And that is just look to the rest of the world. The United States is hanging on by a thread. Our government is down. Our our money management evaluation is no longer triple plus. It's two plus, double plus. So we're losing on all fronts. 
because of the way we're running this country right now. So it shouldn't surprise anybody that we're in this particular situation. And it's been months trying to straighten this thing out. This is not like something that happened overnight. So here we are on the verge of a shutdown. And it's worse when you consider the alternatives that we could go into some stopgap measure for two or three weeks and then not come up with a real plan that will leave us in position to work and do the job correctly for the next four or five years. Why can't we figure out a way to fund this government for some long term? It's because of the ineptitude of the people that we have sent to Congress and the ineptitude of Kevin McCarthy right now. I think he needs the advice of Nancy Pelosi. How about that? He should be on his knees begging Nancy to help him. But I'm sure he won't. That would be beyond his ken. That would be showing weakness. But he is weak. He hasn't strung together the appropriate people. He hasn't figured out what his job really is. He hasn't figured out how to do it properly. And the Republicans were stupid for allowing him to run so many times. But nobody else wanted the job. That shows you something, too. And you don't have enough people who want to lead the party. And maybe some of the leaders who, who might come up would be worse than McCarthy. Think about that. What if we had somebody worse than McCarthy leading Congress these days? How about that? So I'm going to leave you with that this morning. On the verge of a shutdown, a national disaster, led by a group of people who who among themselves are national disasters. Let me just remind you of one thing. This, This group of clowns now is trying to impeach the president. Instead of getting the country straightened out, they're going to go after Joe Biden. And he hasn't done anything that's impeachable. Maybe they should sit down and talk to him and he will help them figure out how to get themselves out of this mess, out of this financial mess. Instead of trying to impeach him and wasting everybody's time. They want to impeach him because their former leader was impeached twice. So if you could impeach Donald Trump twice, you could at least impeach Joe Biden once for no reason at all. And with the country on the verge of an economic disaster, that's what these people are spending time on. Instead of rallying around and figuring out how to get the money to keep us open and moving, they're looking to impeach the president. They are a disgrace. So I hope you have a decent day and not worry too much about this. But if you're on the verge of having to work without pay, I feel sorry for you. Take care.